Welcome back to Ocarina of Time. This is part 20. Uh, what did we do in the last episode? I think we just kind of uh, fiddled around. Uh, maybe not literally, but figuratively. <laughs> um, we were uh, it, it doing something over a death mountain, if I may remember correctly. Oh yeah, and then I was like, oh, we just got the Bolero of Fire, but we don't even have the Prelude of Light, which is like a pretty essential thing. Um, normally, like, if you're not playing this game, like, if you're, you know, saving and quitting every time you finish a session, instead of just, like, pressing save state, as an adult, you would return automatically to the Temple of Time at, at the beginning of your session, and as a kid, you would return automatically to your house in the Kokiri Forest, so you wouldn't even think about having to go back to the Temple of Time. You would just kind of do that the next time you loaded up your save file. But since I'm not doing that, this is on an emulator. I'm just doing save state after save state after save state on almost like on one giant play, st uh, play session. PlayStation. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm wording it badly. The time will come when you'll have to return here quickly. I know. That's what I was just saying. I was like, oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't get the Prelude of Light. So it's kind of cool. They have, like, six medallions, six elements, six warping songs. Ha, <laughs> nice. I tried to play it as quickly as I could. It's fun. You just use two thumbs and then you type, uh, type? Typing? Is this Mavis Bacon teaches typing? No, this is Ocarina of Time. Not Number Muncher. Number Muncher! As long as you hold the Ocarina of Time and the Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Dude, we shall meet again. <laughs> I love it. I love how everyone sounds like a stoner because I put in my name as dude. All right. So, um, we're not starting Fire Temple right away, although we could. Um, our first real objective is to not do the main objective, is to do as many side objectives as possible. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, basically to do as many side quests as possible, because now that we've uh, unlocked uh, being able to change into an adult and back to a kid... Uh, we can do m most side quests that are in the game now. Yeah. So, uh, but the main side quests are, of course, just uh, getting Skulltulas, getting pieces of heart, um, doing Pose, unfortunately. I'm not looking forward to that. I don't think anybody... There might be a few, like, insane people who play this game and actually enjoy collecting Poe's. Um, I think most people don't. Just because shooting objects from a moving thing is stupid. But <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. There's also the uh, Happy Mask salesman, or Happy Mask side quest. Because before he was in Majora's Mask, telling you about how you need to save the world, he was in this game, and he was pretty, uh, an unassuming, innocent dude. Before he was a, you know, a harbinger of the apocalypse in the Majora's Mask. His shop kind of gives me the creeps in this game. I mean, in a good way, but it's like, ugh. Alright, we have to buy a bunch of magic beans, because a lot of them are going to lead to, um, pieces of heart. So, remember I was complaining that, you know, we went uh, to the one outside Dodongo's cavern and I was like, oh man, that could have been a free piece of heart if I had just remembered to plant that when I was a kid. Anyway, this guy is kind of a money grubber. He just keeps raising the prices, you know, capitalism and all that. Um... So we're out of money, but I know a pretty good way to refill money. Oh no. Oh, uh, this river area is kind of annoying, but oh well. You just have to kind of go with the current sometimes. It's life. You know, you go with the current. 
You go with the flow. You go with the flow of time. Ocarina of time, man. Um, I don't know. Is my throat sounding hoarse? I don't think it is, but it sounds, like, drier than usual. Um. Maybe, maybe Ed Bernstein. Who's Ed Bernstein? I don't know. Seymour Barab. That scared, that scared me. For a second I was like, what's that tapping sound? Um, yeah, so there's some friendly frogs over here. Very friendly frogs. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say about them. There's, there's just some, some nice frog dudes. I think we've seen them before, but yeah. So, we've got almost, we've got all the six, like, I'll just call them starter songs. And then we get the six, like, warp songs, the or travel songs. Songs of Travel by Vaughn Williams. Um, anyway, I like how two of the frogs are huge and then three of the frogs are tiny. It's five frogs, like the five notes on your ocarina. It's supposed to be singing in the rain. Yes, good movie. Oh, what's my commentary? Because I've, I've been doing so much um, Ace Attorney just in a row, and, like, that's all I did today was, like, I uploaded, like, four or five Ace Attorney videos in a row just because I wanted them off my computer. Um, I, didn't, I didn't even care that, like, five videos were going to be uploaded on the same day. And six, including this one, if I, you know, if I'm happy with it. Um, but yeah, I, I remember I just wanted to... I just wanted to get to the end of Case 2 in that game. That's the thing about the Ace Attorney games. They're really addictive. Um, and they're somewhat easy to record because most of the commentary, you're just like reading the dialogue and then you're thinking about the solution and then you're thinking about like what contradicts and you're like interacting with the characters blah 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 but anyway I'm happy that I'm finally doing that game and uh, I waited for like years I was like oh I'm not gonna spoil trials and tribulations for myself in case I want to play it someday um and that's a long... T oh, it's been a long time since it's been... Basically, I managed to not spoil myself on uh, TNT for about 10 years. Because that's when I first, like, watched the Ace Attorney games was in high school. And it was 2014. So, anyway, these beans just keep getting more and more expensive. It's pretty cool. It's not that cool. I like the colors like red, white, and blue. Red, red, white, and blue. Red, yellow, and blue. Oh, it's just like the four links and four swords adventure. No, I'm sure that has nothing to do with it. Those are the colors, right? Red, yellow, blue, and green. I mean, those are like the four most basic colors anyway. Like, just add in like orange and purple. I don't, I don't even know why I'm, why I'm talking about that. Hey, you could play like a, a, you could play a game of Clue because that's basically all the all the colors. It's red, yellow, blue, green, orange, and purple. Now, if you're a rainbow and you want to be really fancy, you add a seventh color. You gotta, you know, it's not just blue. It's blue and indigo. Indigo is like dark blue. See, indigo is such a pretty name for a color, but it's... Nobody ever actually uses indigo, so... Anyway, this is, a uh, A bit annoying because you have to have an extremely quick reaction, or you just have to memorize the entire sequence, because it is the same sequence every time. Uh, yeah, they expect you to re react so quickly. And to learn where, like, which frog is which button. 
which you can sort of like if you tilt your head and imagine that like the frog closest to you is the A button and then the frog furthest from you is up and then left, right, and down. That was almost it. That was like the first half of it. That was decent. Now I just have to get more decent. And then, you know, memory, memory helps too. Almost. Ready, set, go. Bum 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 bum. I think that would have been it. That was the last guy. I haven't really been playing much other than uh uh a little bit of Wii Sports, but Mainly, I've been playing and recording Ace Attorney. That's about it. <laughs> and then I've been playing this. And then, you know, I kept saying, Oh, I'm, I was going to do another playthrough of Paper Mario, and I'm so excited to do Paper Mario because, oh my god, that's my comfort game. I do a playthrough of every of that game every summer. It's like my ritual now. And then, of course, I, like... I didn't get that far into it. <laughs> like, I got up to... I, like, I got up to Dry Dry Ruins, so that's like, you know, the second chapter out of eight. Or whatever. Uh, I can't say that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna play this game every day because I'm so excited to, like, play it. It's not that I don't enjoy the game, I just... Nothing in particular is making me excited to play it. Maybe if I was recording it, it would give me more incentive to play it. But I've already played that game so many times. But I think the nice thing about it is just that it's kind of a comfort game. It's it's very cozy. It just makes me feel like cozy and happy and nostalgic when I play it. Except, of course, when I'm like, you know running away from enemies with one HP and like, oh, you know, don't screw this up because then I have to, you know, I have to pay my taxes to... to pay. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what that was all about, but no. I mean, I've also been watching a, a playthrough of Bug Fables, which is pretty similar to Paper Mario anyway. So, it's not exactly the same, but... Now, ordinarily, that would make me want to play it more, but I don't know, it just kind of feels like I'm getting my Paper Mario fix already from another play. I don't know, I... I... Anyway, that, that has nothing to do with Ocarina of Time. So here we are, <laughs> here we are on the Volcano of Doom, yay! And then we're gonna go and we're gonna eat some fish and chips. Where was the fish and chips? There's the fish and chips, okay. And finally we get the piece of heart. Oh my goodness. We're here in Arizona because it's really hot outside and it's hot in Arizona and there are rocks, rocks crushing us in Arizona. You know, I just learned about Arizona iced tea it was made by two dudes from New York who had never been to the West Coast at all. Or Arizona. I mean, Arizona's kind of the West Coast. It's not the coast, but it's the West. Never mind. I just sound like an idiot. So then you just kind of drop down here. And uh, it's like a rock climbing wall almost. I remember I used to go rock climbing. Fortunately, you catch yourself. And holy cannolis, holy cannolis. Let's go eat cannolis. Let's go to a nice Italian restaurant and get a bunch of cannolis. And like, you know, it'll be a date. The Lost Woods. But we found them again. I don't know what 
what I'm saying. There's one sculpture I missed in the forest temple, and we had to go through here. Um, there's only like four sculptures in this te temple total, total temple, temp temple total. Uh, and one of them is in the main hall, one of them is in the basement, and two of them are in the outer, or like the little wings, like the courtyards. So you kind of have to go through a bunch of rooms in order to get here, but once you get up to this tiny little, like, uh, Greek arch thing, not really a Greek arch, but it's like a little thing that you can walk on, and then there's a dude over here in the vines. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. I keep miss I keep missing it. There we go. All right. And then there was uh, one sculptula in the Lost Woods, in the fish and chips restaurant, in the chili restaurant, in the eggs restaurant. I don't know why the chili sounds pretty good right now. Chili. I don't know. Just like sitting down at like. A restaurant kind of place. It sounds fun. Pro it, probably because I have haven't really been outside in three days, uh, or like hung out with anyone in person in like three or four days. I don't even know. It's been a weird week, but I've been very uh, sheltered, I guess, hoping to get back into the socializing and uh, making stuff happen for the rest of this summer, but it's been a very lazy week. Uh, I got a giant wallet, so that's pretty cool. And then this guy up here is just like, oh, I hope I don't fall off. So then, uh, on that note, we're gonna end this episode of Ocarina of Time. <laughs>